Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. Today we are going to talk about how you can order your capital one virtual reward credit card on line in 2023. The process is quick, easy and convenient. So let's get started. Before we start with this video, make sure to watch us from now till the end so you have full experience. So first let's start by opening whatever browser we're going to use to follow this tutorial steps with. Here in my case, I'm actually going to use the Brave browser. But of course in your case, you can use any other browser could be possibly working for you, such as Google Chrome, Opera, Brave like me, Microsoft, Firefox, if you're a Mac user, maybe Safari, or whatever browser you have in your PC. Once you open that browser, make sure to go to this URL section and simply type capital onecom and hit the enter button. That should take you into the home screen or main screen of the Capital One website. And of course, if you have an account, you can simply enter your username here, followed by a password. Then check this Remember Me option if you don't want to keep logging in into your account or signing into your account whenever you get in. And click on sign in and you will sign in into your account. Of course, if you forgot your username or password, make sure to click here and they will take you into a page with the instructions on how to get them back. Of course, you can even click at the top right corner sign in option to sign in again with your username and password. And if you don't have an account, you can always click or uh, click on the setup online access so you can get an account for yourself. As you can see here, you'll have to simply enter a last name, social security number or I-10, then the date of birth, click on the get started, and you will have to follow a simple instructions again to create an account for yourself. And of course, so let's just go back to the home screen of Capital One. And here, of course, as you can see, open a high yield saving account. If you want to, you can do that. But for us, as we said, we would like to order your Capital One Venture Reward Credit Card. And of course, before you proceed with your application, you will need to ensure that you are eligible for the credit card. To do so, click on Credit Card right here as an example. And here you will find this view important rates and disclosure for every card here. As we said, for us, we would like this venture uh, reward card. As you can see, earn unlimited two miles per dollar on every purchase, plus five miles per dollars on hotels and rental cars booked through Capital One Travel. Of course, for this card, you can simply apply now. But for those two cards, you will have to see if you are pre so you can apply to the premium MasterCard and the quick silver one rewards. Of course, you can view, as we said, the important traits and disclosures. It's blocked, so let's just go and open it again. And as you can see here, you will have to read all of this to see if you are eligible for it. So make sure to read them all carefully if you want the Venture Reward card. So of course, now simply once you check you are eligible for it, or if you are eligible for the Capital One Venture Reward Credit Card, you can proceed with the application process. So simply click on Apply Now. Once you click on it, that will take you to this page. So here you have to fill out the application form with your personal information, employment details, income, and other required informations. So as you can see here, Venture earn 75 grand bonus miles once you spend or oh, sorry, not grants, 75,000 bonus miles once you spend 4,000 or 4 grants on purchase within the first three months from account opening. Of course, here you can see the card details as an example. Here you can see the security and here you can see the frequently asked questions or fact. If you click on it, that will uh, open for you a pop-out and here you will see everything as you can see from unlimited rewards, from the travel credits, from long access and to, sorry, and to annual fees, purchase APR, and transfer info. So if you are interested, of course, you'll have to read all of this uh, to be sure that you want this card. And here you'll even find the frequently asked questions. So if you have any questions, maybe similar to this, make sure to check this, of course. And once you're done, as we said, you'll have to fill this personal information, uh, starting with your legal first name, MI, legal last name, your date of birth, and the tax ID, SSN or ITN. Of course, this is, please enter your 
uh, your social security number or individual tax payer identification number we use this information to identify identify you and process your application of course you can show it or hide it whatever you use once then of course as you can see you have here travel your way use your venture miles on flights hotels and more you can even transfer miles to any of our 10 plus travel partners and of course are you a u.s citizens united states if you are click on yes if you are not click on no and then what's your u.s resident status so uh, resident or non-resident so make sure to fill all this information then you will have to read this important disclosure so make sure to read them all of course that's what you read in the home screen as i showed you before and if you didn't make sure to read this carefully and if you don't qualify we may consider you for other cards we'll only check your credit once and it won't affect your venture application you will be able to accept or decline our offer so as an example if you didn't ex be accepted for this card they will actually give you another offers and you can accept or not accept so of course once you fill out everything then click on continue and fill up the other informations it's going to be the time to agree to the terms and conditions and of course you'll have to read them all so before you submit your applications make sure you read and agree to the terms and conditions of the credit card and this includes the interest rates the fees and other important details about this card as you can see you'll find here a lot about it and of course once you filled out the application form and agreed to the terms and condition click on the submit button once you click and continue and fill all the informations to send your application to capital one and you will receive a notification to your application statue within a few minutes and then you will have to wait for approval so if your application is approved you will receive your capital one venture rewards co credit card in the mail within a few days if your application is de declined capital one will notify you for the reason for the rejection and as we said they will actually send you another offers as an example and you can accept or decline their offer and of course as we said here it won't affect your venture application so don't worry about that and other cards are actually pretty decent as an example as you as you as an example here this is excellent but those two are actually fair as well and pretty decent as you can see this gets the credits you need with no annual fees the, this has this card has no fees and this one earn unlimited 1.5 percent uh, cash back on every purchase every day so as you can see it's pretty decent if you didn't get this one so that's gonna be it so that's how you can order of course your capital one venture rewards credit card online in 2023 the process as we said is easy and straightforward and you can do it from the comfort of your home if you have any questions or concerns you can also or always go down here and contact them by clicking at the contact us and make sure to contact them with any problem that you have don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos like this thanks for watching and i will see you in the next one